So guys, today we're talking about the brand new exotic sword, Ergo Sun. We're going to briefly go over its quest, the best way of farming out different roles of this weapon, and then just the overall perks as well, so that you know what roles to be looking out for when farming. This weapon is really, really strong and should definitely be a top priority for anyone going into the raid, potentially, if there's a sword encounter or just anybody that likes swords in general, especially because this is the first ever special ammo sword. So we'll get into all the details about this weapon here in this video but before we do as always if you're going to enjoy be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already as it's free to do and helps me out here a ton with all that being said let's jump straight into ergo sum here so the first thing that we need to mention is that the quest for this weapon is very very easy basically just complete the campaign and then it will be the first new quest that is given to you upon the completion of the campaign very easy to go and complete the quest steps i believe there's five of them it's just going around and doing other quests uh, so it's just very simple and easy once you get the sword though there are going to be a lot of different perks available to you but the main one that will stay consistent is transcendent duelist this can be found on every version of the sword and it says that the weapon collects less ammo final blows with this weapon accelerate light and darkness mastery and it deals increased damage while transcendent and defeating targets lengthens transcendence Everything else about this sword changes, including its guard options, blade options, the frame of sword that it is, as well as its intrinsic traits, and even its elemental damage type. Let's just quickly jump into all those details here. So like the GG here, we have all of the intrinsic traits, blades, guards, all that good stuff. So let's just jump straight in. We have Insectoid Robot Grenade, where final blows deploy homing robot grenades. Unplanned Reprieve, where heavy attacks emit delayed detonating projectiles. Stormbringer, where rapid final blows create a lightning storm. Arc Conductor, heavy attacks surge lightning from the user. Perfect fifth, every fifth hit attaches a delayed detonation. Sacred Flame, heavy attacks mark targets, light attacks detonate them. Gathering Light, stowing with a weapon restores ability energy based on final blows. And Wolfpack Rounds, where heavy attacks grant cluster missiles to sword wielders. Very interesting perks here for this weapon, especially Wolfpack Rounds on a sword really hoping that i can get my hand on that one because that paired with other swords is just going to go insane in terms of the frame options you have aggressive frame lightweight frame caster frame and vortex frame we already know what these are but there is a brand new frame called wave frame sword where heavy attacks deploy a shockwave uppercut that launches the user into the air an immediate follow-up swing after the uppercut deploys a homing strike that aggressively seeks a target Going over to the blades and the guards now, you have Tempered Edge, Jagged Edge, Owned Edge, Enduring Blade, and Hungry Edge, alongside Swordmaster's Guard, Heavy Guard, Enduring Guard, First Guard, and Balanced Guard. There is also a Catalyst, but we don't know what it does or how to get it, so there's a lot of good stuff with this sword. Now, next question is, how do you farm out all of these different roles? Well, there's going to be two main ways that you can do that. First way is going to be doing your pathfinders here on the pale heart you can find pathfinder right here and just by completing each of the paths every week you can get two versions of the ergo sum i have one remaining so once i complete more of the overthrow activity i can then go and claim my last ergo sum uh, but the best way of getting guaranteed ergo sum rolls is by going and doing the overthrow activity by getting to the end of this activity, you are going to be guaranteed an ergo sum every single time. And if you go in there with a pre-made fire team, you're going to be able to blitz through it and get these swords very, very quickly. So highly recommend going in and grabbing this thing, especially because a lot of the perks in this season's artifact are very sword focused. You have Argent Blade, where while you have armor charge, dealing damage with a sword consumes an armor charge and empowers your sword for a short time, granting it bonus damage and energy charge rate. You then have Blade Stamina, rapidly defeating targets with a sword, refunds some ammo. You have Overload Sword, just some very good sword focused perks. So there might even be a sword focused encounter in the raid, you just don't know. And with this thing having Wolfpack rounds, I believe somebody did some testing and it will grant every other sword user. 33% damage increase which is just insane so definitely would recommend everybody get their hands on ergo sum as soon as possible once again the quest is very easy and farming this thing out is also very very simple uh, and yeah that's everything i have for ergo sum if you 
liked the video be sure to leave a like hit that subscribe button but that's it from me here today so i'll catch you guys in the next one